Hey guys, it is me again as you can see. Um, see what today is. Sunday, March 13th. So let's check that off. Makes it day 72 on our project serve him more. As always, it's great to have you guys here tonight. Um, Yeah, it is. Forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I know I've not got to check comments yet, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that before I go to bed. I tell you, this new time's already screwing with me, you know, because you know I'm I'm wide awake, not even you know even ready near to go to bed yet, and it's uh, it's twelve thirty. You know, it's. You know, but my body still thinks it's 11.30, you know, like last night. So, you know, I, I'm kind of, uh, you know, going to have to get used to that. I know usually for the first couple weeks after we switch into this fast time, as we call it, it's it's pretty hard for me to get used to. So, uh, I do like that it gives you more daylight of the evenings. But, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I've not checked them sooner, guys. I was going to do it this evening. I mean, it just seems like every evening something comes up. Uh, I was going to do it this evening. I got done eating supper. Was done eating supper, and I said, "Okay, I'm gonna, you know, do my YouTube stuff, catch up on all that." And that, the thought hadn't the moment went through my head. Uh, one of my good buddies called, and one that uh, I've not seen in a while. Uh, you know, he's been working a lot, so I've not got to see much. So he called. Wanting to uh, go to Hazard, which is about 30 minutes away from here, uh, to a Giovanni's uh, pizza shop to get him a uh, a sandwich that he likes, a uh, Italian sub, I think it's called. But uh, he had a hanker for one of those, and he wanted to go get one, and he wanted to know if I'd drive down there with him. You know, we hadn't seen each other in a while, and this and that. So uh, I went down there with him and back. So. You know, that ate up. By the time we stopped there, you know, like I said, it's it's 30 miles away. So you're looking at 35, 40 minutes getting there. We went to there and had to wait a few minutes on his sub and started heading back. And we stopped at Burger King. And he got a, uh, a sandwich at Burger King. And we got milkshakes. And, uh, anyway, so by the time we did all that and got back, I was like... I was 9.30, I guess, or maybe close to 10 o'clock getting back home. Uh, so, I shot my Stag AR-15 today, doing some uh, crony and some bullets, checking the, the speed of them, and also the accuracy. I was shooting through the crony at a target. And uh, So anyway, the reason I told you that was to tell you this. So I had an AR-15 to clean. So, any of you guys... I don't know if you have you have that have had AR-15s and shot them, you know that it's a pretty good job to clean an AR-15. So by the time I took it apart, sprayed everything down, let everything soak for a little bit, I went out and all my brass that I shot yesterday and today between shooting my coat and shooting that AR, I, uh, I got all my brass decapped and um, put into the Sonic Cleaner. Sonic cleaned them all. Uh, and they're actually in the tumbler right now. So... By the time I got all that done, got back in the house, got the AR finished cleaning it, got it all put together, put in the safe, and uh, that's pretty much put me right now. So I know I've been around the world telling you this, but that's you know that's kind of the reason I told you, you know, to let you know that I that I have had a little bit of an excuse for not doing the comments. But I'm gonna try to get them tonight. If this if this don't take me too long to upload, I'm gonna try to get them tonight. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to the reading tonight. That way this video won't be too long, and it'll upload quicker, and so maybe I can uh, I can get to the comments, or at least catch up for the last couple days anyway. So Luke chapter 1, starting in verse 34, is where we're going to be continuing tonight, guys. Uh, so here we go. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And we were talking about before this, which you can go back and read if you're following along, that, that the angel had came and visited Mary, the, you know, that we see here uh, Elizabeth was already pregnant with uh, with John, 
And uh, so here the angels came and told Mary she was going to have God incarnate, or Jesus. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. I love that verse. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. I like that, you know, I like that, that, that even John was filled with the Holy Ghost too, you know, he, when he was a babe, he leapt in her womb, and she was too. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. You know, they were blessed just from being in the presence uh, of Jesus, even, even with him in the womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe left in my womb for joy. Guys, I believe that's where we're going to quit tonight. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's where we're, I was just checking. I was just looking there, guys, to make sure kind of. Uh, it had a, a note here on the end here, and I was reading what that note said about the uh, about verse 45, which is what we're going to be reading tomorrow. So I have to wait till tomorrow to tell you that. But anyway, guys. I'm so glad that you all are here. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are praying for me. Keep praying for me this week. I need it. You know, I always need it. My gum's been bothering me where they pulled that tooth. I've got a big mouth ulcer. Big around the end of your finger in my lip right there too. So that's driving me crazy. Uh, you know, just... And you know, always going into a new week. I'm always apprehensive because I'm, you know... I mean, I've got faith that the Lord's going to take care of us. I know He is, but every week it still just kind of, it kind of going into Monday. It kind of, I don't know, I get kind of rattled a little bit, which I'm getting better at it. But, you know, just worrying whether it's going to be a good week or not. You know, whether we're going to make enough for uh, for me to be able to draw payday and, and make enough to meet our obligations. But uh, So, you all just pray for me. Pray for my business. Pray for my church. Uh, and just like I said, guys, other than I pray for me, you know, because I just, I don't know, there's some things been going on at church that, I mean, not necessarily specific little things, but just a lot of stuff at church has been aggravating me. And, you know, I love the job and the responsibility so much that I don't like it aggravating me like this. You know, I don't like not liking it. Uh, so just pray for me, you know, pray that the Lord to reveal to me what he's trying to teach me through all this and um you know like i said just pray for my church that uh that it'll keep that it'll go all right that people will start showing up more um you know i i don't know we just we have one week we'll have 40 40 45 people and then the next week you'll have 15 people and uh which i know the 45 is not many but i mean for us that's that's a, you know, that's a decent little crowd. Uh, so, you know, the church only probably holds. I don't know, last Easter, I think we had about 80, 80 some people in there, and it was pretty much full. So, anyway, guys, um, I don't want to get off into that. I'll be here all night, but just pray for me. Uh, and I will appreciate it. So, good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. And until I see you guys again, good night. And God bless.